Hello, my name is Alex Reitzma, and today we're going to be going over the Trimble Key 9. This video is assuming Windows 10 has already been installed, and we'll be focused specifically on getting started with the Trimble Field Link layout software. First of all, there are several network settings that optimize the radio connection within Windows 10. Let's take a look at these. What you're going to want to do is click on the Wi-Fi signal on the bottom right of your screen, and then click on Network Settings. There are several options that connect to random hotspots within your work area that you don't want to connect to. Make sure that all these settings are turned off, such as connect to suggested open hotspots and connect to wet paid Wi-Fi services. This optimizes the radio connection within Trimble FieldLink. Next, you're going to need to install Trimble Installation Manager. This is done from www.trimble.com slash installation manager. Trimble Installation Manager is the system used to install all updates as well as initial installation of Trimble FieldLink. You'll see the Download Trimble Installation Manager on the right side of your screen. And go ahead and download this. After this goes through, you can simply launch the Trimble Installation Manager and ensure that all modules appear that you expect to purchase. If all modules are not present, contact your Trimble distributor and send them the serial number displayed at the top of the Trimble Installation Manager. Make sure that all modules are checked and simply hit install at the bottom right. If you're running through an update, this will say update at the bottom right, as well as at the top right you have several versions to select. Ensure that the latest release is selected and then hit update at the bottom right. After initial installation, we can launch Trimble Field Link and what is displayed is an empty job file. This is a TFL file that was initially created that you can import background files as well as CSV files. For our case, we probably want to create a new TFL to import our model and points onto. For that, we'll go to Jobs and Manage at the top. We have several options of where to locate this file from, either the desktop, a USB stick, or the cloud using Trimble Connect. All the files that were loaded from any user within Trimble Connect appear here. I have two jobs available, Trimble Westminster Project as well as my Building Point folder. We also have several options within the desktop itself that were stored. For example, we have a basic file we can open now. Uh, so we can do that. We'll hit open here. And it also displays how many points and which models associated with that TFL file. On that same screen, you are also able to create a blank TFL. And here you can see now we have our model file and point file that was automatically loaded together. Rotating it, we can see that these points loaded together and now we're ready to lay out within Trimble Field Link. If you'd like to learn more tips and tricks, check out our YouTube channel or contact your local Building Point representative. Thanks for watching.